Hey what's up guys Vasque here and welcome back to another video and today we're going to be going over the new cars that are going to be coming from the Japan data download that we got today. So as you guys can see these are the new cars that are going to be coming out and of course we as we already knew uh, Super Saiyan Blue Evolution or Royal Blue or however you want to call it I'm just going to call him I guess I'm I'll just call him Royal Blue, so, or just the new Vegeta, so whatever you guys want to call him, we are going to be going over the cars that are coming out with him, and as you already know, he is the unit that is going to be coming out, and we'll go over what he does, but we'll do that in, in a little bit. So we're going to actually go over the other cards. So first thing we have is a brand new physical Majin Vegeta. As you can can see right here, I clicked on the wrong tab, but as you can see right here, he is actually he, he has the art from Battlefield. As you can see from him and this Goku, they both have the art from Battlefield. But anyways, Vegeta, the, a brand new one. He looks pretty nice. I don't think he has. He looks like he has over in a flash, and he doesn't awaken. So if he awakens, that would be pretty pretty good but anyways this is impulse of combat ethic Majin Vegeta is a physical uh, he does physical key plus two HP attack and defense 70% up so he just gives two key and he is a 70% lead for his type and then his super attack dark impact he does increase attack for one turn and then of course it doesn't really matter that much but for his passive it is rival should exceed defense third percent up up to 120 percent each time you attack and each time attacked attack 30 percent up up to 90 percent so I'm, I'm guessing as each time this guy attacks he will increase his defense and also increase his attack so then of course his links are super saiyan Combat Ethic Saiyan, I'm I don't really care that much about those links, but the main links that he has is Saiyan Pride, Super Saiyan, uh, he has Over in a Flash, and he has Buchi Giri of Power. I don't know what that is really, but it's not really that good. But overall, this guy is pretty okay and all that. So next unit is also from the battlefield that I said earlier. He is the strength version of the Majin Vegeta for strength key plus two attack and defense and hp 70 percent he increases the defense when he supers instead just like how the agl super saiyan 2 angel goku is and then he pretty much has the same passive but defense goes up to 90 percent instead of 120 and then attack goes up to 120 instead of 90 so they just switched everything around and i'm pretty sure that's that prepare for battle I'm pretty sure he has so he doesn't have anything else no shock and speed or anything so the only main key link he has is prepare for battle but anyways he's not they're not the main units that we're gonna be going after or looking at right now the next unit we have is this SR Kai he apparently is a physical new Kai he apparently raises up the SA level by one and it looks like it's a 30 percent chance of getting it so that in increased i'm actually interested in how you you are able to require him i don't know if he's farmable or if he's from the summoning or from event or whatever so if he is farmable who cares if it's 30 percent farm him so much because he's going to be useful but if he's not farmable, I don't know how else you will be able to get him. But moving on, I'll just X out of these. Moving on, the next unit is a Tech Jiren. And apparently he is, I'm guessing he's the farmable Jiren from the new event, story event that's going to be coming. So this is Grey Warrior Jiren with his leader skill the space survival guide or the universe 
Universal Tournament category HP attack and defense 60% up so he's a mini lead the strength Jiren is better but we'll get into the strength Jiren later on so anyways you guys pull Jiren farm this guy he can increase the super attack of that Jiren all right so then his super attack his power impact he increase he does like a whole bunch of damage I guess and he lowers defense and then damage caused by the energy meter 10 or more to reduce 50% I don't know what that really is but anyways this is the formable Jiren we don't really need to go that much into detail for him so moving on tech 17 awakens I am pretty sure that nano pu pulled so many 17s and now he's 100% so nano this should be really good for you because this guy now awakens this is his rebirth the ranger 17 quietly burning fighting spirit artificial world number 17 and this guy does tech type key plus 2 hp attack and defense 90 percent so he's kind of like a smaller version of the lr goku black just with one less key just for the lead but he's a pretty good lead if you have him and if you don't have a decent enough uh, tech lead so of course he increases attack for six turns when he supers and then on his passive it is attack and defense 70 percent up and he gets 15 percent up and defense 10 percent up when he gets orbs so of course he is a nuker i actually do have him and i'm planning on awakening him and doing a showcase for him so pretty much the only extra link that he got was rebirth so the next android that actually got awakened was this one right here this girl 18 uh, it's not loading up i don't know why but as you can see right here she awakens now she actually came I guess she was like one of the newer units on the banner when you Ultra Instinct awakened, but she awakens now. She gets her rebirth. She is key plus two HP attack and defense 70% for tech types, and she also increases her defense for six turns. And then her passive is attack and defense 70% up, and she's also pretty much a nuker and attack 12% up and defense 7% up for each orb. And of course the link that you will get is rebirth so or shattering the limit is the link so anyways next unit now is a new SSR 17 I Ranger 17 actually so I don't know I'm pretty sure this could be the one that seven when he's using his uh shield around his arm to punch but i don't know for sure if this guy is from the event but it most likely he'll probably be from the banner if he's from the event then hey that's great that he's farmable but if he's not and is from the event the banner then it doesn't really matter that much so anyways what he does is space survival guide category key plus two hp attack and defense 40 percent and he lowers attack on super and his passive skill is he seals for two turns the death blow of the acquired care of the ball one so he's pretty much a nuker and kind of like a nuker and attack the enemy with high probability i don't really know this uh google translate stuff it's like confusing me but it's pretty much what it looks like is he could seal super attacks of certain units for two turns if i guess if he gets a certain amount of orbs then i'm not really too sure but any more details we will get into here i'm pretty sure it's down here so let's actually see so jiren that's not that jiren that's the tech one that's it also tech one no it doesn't have it yet so anyways that's the last 17 and now we have a new android 18 also 
the a agl one she's also the same lead but she is key plus three hp attack and defense 30 percent she reduces attack on her super and she pretty much so her passive is to turn two two turn i don't know why it's too many twos faint at medium probability so i'm guessing she she could prevent you from dying in one shot i don't know again the google translate it's kind of hard but look at all that all of that money that zenny that is used into awakening them goodness that's too much but moving on from her we're talking too much about these units now let's get into the real units actually there's one more unit and it's this one yep everyone's favorite ribrian giant so she went from Ribrian to Super Ribrian to Ribrian Giant. So what she is is the Peachy Gao category and key plus two HP attack and defense 70%. I'm pretty sure the strength one is 77% for Peachy Gao's key plus three. So she's a better lead than this one. But if you wanted to, I'm guessing since they can link up she they would be their best partners so anyways what she does is increases attack for six turns when she supers and i'm guessing she also gives key plus one and sometimes huge every time so then she gets she can transform basically during the death blow activation and attack and defense 80 percent up and care ball get up to two times so i'm guessing she gets transformed for two turns i'm not really too sure and she also gets the rebirth link so she doesn't have her own event thank goodness but anyways let's actually look at what she does before we throw her away so what she does is attack and defense 80 percent when super attack is launched key plus one whenever key is raised with key spears and may transform into giant for max of two turns so she could yet yeah, uh it would have made sense if she turned if she was in the giant category but oh well so now moving on we have strength topo yeah there you go strength topo he awakens and now he is key of all units so all types key plus two hp attack and defense 70 percent so now as you can see his art looks incredible I love his art and let's actually look at what he does here instead since it's better translated he does supreme damage and to the enemy and allies attack 25% up for one turn and then his passive is strength settled on the awakening all allies attack and defense 35% up and all enemies defense minus 50% so he's pretty good support and he gets fierce battle so I'm guessing he'll awaken with I don't know what medals but it could be maybe Jiren medals if Jiren has his own event so yeah so we're gonna try to go a little bit faster because the main unit is what we really want he's right there and we also need to look at the super animations and I'm trying to put this all in one video too so it's gonna be quite a long one so yeah now we have the agility dispo so as you can see his art looks amazing there too that's his super god mode i guess so anyways let's look at what he does where is he dispo dispo where are you i i guess they didn't translate it maybe if i re refresh the page is it gonna do they translate it now oh okay so the missions are here now Vegeta, Jiren, Android 17, Topo, Jiren, Super Rubrian. Okay, so now we have these guys. And here's Dispo. Alright, so Dispo is AGL type, key plus 2, HP attack and defense 70%. And his super attack is deal supreme damage to the enemy and raises his attack for 6 turns. And his passive is speed of light that has surpassed the speed of sound. That is a long passive name. He gets attack 20% and dodge rate 15% max 60 at the start of every turn looks like his attack increases okay so I'm guessing that his attack will increase up to 60% so 
for six turns. So pretty much his attack increases from his super attack and at the same time on his passive it will increase up to 60%. So and he can dodge. So he's a pretty good dodger. I wouldn't really put him on super AGL. I would probably I might throw him on this category, the universal universe survival saga, but I'm not too sure. So anyways, next unit is the strength Jiren, he awakens and his art looks amazing. Look at all this text. Oh my god. So anyways, let's go up to Jiren and let's see what he does. So Jiren, absolute strength. Leader skill is Universe Survival Saga category key plus 3. HP attack and defense 150% or strength type key plus 3, HP attack and defense 50%. His super attack is Overheat Megatron and it deals immense damage and greatly lowers defense to the enemy and this is amazing that he can still stun and okay i just read his passive and this jiren is amazing at the start of turn his own attack and defense is 130 percent and he has a medium chance to stun all enemies and when attacking a stunned enemy performed a guaranteed critical hit so if you stun if this Jiren stuns whoever you're going up against, he will do a guaranteed crit. So if he does two supers, it, they will both be crits no matter what if they're stunned. So that is amazing right there. And they'll be stunned for two turns. So pretty much if you get your stuns off like multiple times, you'll pretty much get crits from Jiren almost every single turn. All right, so last unit, actually there's one more. No, there's not. So, yeah, there is one more. So, the last unit is Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Vegeta. He will evolve to Dragon, to Super Saiyan Blue Evolution, Royal Blue, however you want to call it. But this guy is amazing. As you can see, he is the pure Saiyan category lead leader. Right here, pure Saiyan category, key plus 3, HP attack and defense, 70%. And attack is 130. My bad right there. His super attack is the Gamma Burst Flash. What he did in the manga against Merge Zimasu, I'm pretty sure. And it deals immense damage and greatly lowers defense of the enemy. And his passive is Simulated Pride, attack 120% and defense 60%. And performs an additional attack to up to two times. And every time he attacks, it increases by his increases his defense by 7% max of 70% and when conditions are met he evolves I don't know what the conditions are but hopefully we'll find out and I'm guessing it's a certain amount of health maybe we'll probably see it in a in the super attack so his links are prodigy super stain royal lineage warrior gods prefer battle tournament power and fierce battle his links are not that bad he does share war warrior gods it's that attack link Super Saiyan, another attack link, and prepare for battle. At least he'll get some key. So this guy will always at least have like eight key. So all you would need is four key to super. So anyways, this guy will get up to 70% defense every time he attacks. So this guy is already going to do one attack. He'll or he could get a chance to do the, another attack with the dupe system and then he already has a additional two times like tech vegeto blue he can attack up to four times if he's able to get that many he's already going to be max defense by the second time he comes back by the time he comes back on that third rotation he will already have full defense as soon as he attacks again so and his art is amazing i love this art i love the evolution art looks amazing and this is his category just this actually i'm just kidding guys so yeah we have the course we have the vegetas we have raditz uh we have nappa we have the kaioken goku which i wonder if uh the super kaioken will be on this category on global we'll find out eventually 
uh, Bardock, Bardock's team, Majin Vegeta, Goku, Kid Goku's and all that. And then we have God Goku's in there, Turtles, Broly. I'm guessing LR Broly is in here, possibly. I'm guessing LR, Bro LR Broly is in here, yes. Spirit Bomb Goku, the 1000 Days, Super Saiyan 3 is in here. Kaba, LR3, Super Saiyan 3 Bardock is in here. The Super Saiyan 4s are in here. Yes, Super Saiyan 4 Ve Goku and Vegeta are all in this category, meaning that Super Saiyan 4 Goku finally has a category. He is finally able to be in a category. I don't have him on JP, but I do have him on Global, and I cannot wait until this guy comes onto Global, since I don't know if I'll actually pull him on JP, but if I don't, I will eventually pull him on global and I will love the team. This would honestly be my favorite team if I have the if I end up pulling him. So yeah, Super Saiyan 4, UI Goku is in here, Super Saiyan 3 Broly, uh Kale and Khalifla is in here. <coughs> so this category isn't too bad. Like this category is actually pretty good. Like more of the these units are amazing. So far it has like what three LRs? Four? We have LR3, we have the 1000 Day Goku, we have LR Broly, we have LR Majin Vegeta. Yeah, we have four LRs on this category. Not I'm I think there might be more on the revival category or the movie boss, but we have four LRs that are are brought more into the spotlight. So anyways, let's uh speed up this video and look at their super attacks and I'll go full screen then all right let's see so he's going up against, going up against Super Saiyan 4 Goku and that's the Gamma Burst Flash and now we have this transformation That looks amazing. And I'm guessing it's after a certain amount of health. So that's what, 10, 20, 30? That's a, le it's probably less than 40% health he might transform. This team, though. I'm looking at this team. That trunk's probably there for links, but I don't know. Anyways, so we have that. And now this is his transformed super attack, which is going to be the final flash. Amazing. I like it. It's not bad. It's not really too amazing, but I like it. And this is Topo. I've been I was waiting for this super attack. She starts charging like he did against uh Frieza. I mean this is what he did against Go uh Vegeta. And Vegeta pretty much pushed it aside and blew Topo away from the arena, but I love this super attack. The way that they made it look exactly like how it was in the show. Uh, of course, we have Ribrian. She's a little ball. What she did against Vegeta. Not even that much damage. Oh. That team almost died. Alright, so now we have 17. What he did against that one cat girl, Katsuna, I'm guessing? I think that's what he did. It looks it looks like good, I guess. Alright, so now we have Jiren. And no music, okay. So it blows him away. And, oh. I don't know who he did this against, but... Damn. I do like the super attack. And then this bows, which I'm guessing he did against Frieza. Uh, oh, there's more. Okay. Uh, I like that part right here, but it's not really that good. 
And of course we have 17's, 18's rebirth, and she's actually with, it's kind of like the LR androids, but it's different. It's their little infinite stamina they did against the other robot. And then 17, he did this against uh, that one guy. I honestly can't remember his name, but that's it. So then, seven, 18. Did she rip off his heart? She kind of did like a dragon fist. Oh, and then there's the Goku, which we already seen. And then, yeah, we seen that. So, anyways, though, guys, if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a rating. Uh, comment down below if you're going to summon for this Vegeta. And if you did already, tell me what you got because this guy is amazing. His category is amazing. The units that are coming out with him are also amazing. So, rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.